Welcome back it's to Plus Politics, and we are staying on the review of the last uh, or just concluded a dual governorship election. Before we went on that break, uh, we saw uh, uh, Nelson threw up a whole lot of issues that uh, Fabi actually needs to jump in. So over to you, Fabi. What do you have a different narration to what he has said? Well, thank you very much. I, I totally disagree with my brother there on this concept of Godfatherism. Yes, we have Godfathers in churches, in religious organizations, but Godfatherism in politics is different. And then uh, let me click, quickly uh, clear one impression that uh, he said, that Governor Wiki is the Godfather of PDP. That is not true. Um, I'm happy that, Kyle you took time to remind him of what happened in, uh, at, the, at the PDP presidential primaries in, in Port Harcourt. That has, I mean, that is, that has become history now. Uh, but now let me tell you a classical example of Godfatherism that we have in Nigeria. Let's go to Lagos. My brother is a Yoruba man. Even, and I know Kado, you are a Yoruba man. We know what Lagos has become today as a result of Godfatherism. One man imposing the governor, the deputy governor, the state house of assembly members, the commissioners, even the local government chairman, even the councillors. one man. And that has reduced Lagos to what, where it is today. And that is why you see people crying in Lagos saying, I was surprised to hear that group saying, they started like they started in, they did in Ilori, in Kwara State. So, so that is a classical example that. of vote for Darism. <laughs> now, and, and, and we find that very loud and clear in the APC. And that is what they wanted to do in Edo State. So as far as I know, Governor Wike is not... Let me tell you how we do it in PDP. We embrace what is called consensus. We embrace what is what is called compromises. The leadership, the structures, the organs of the party have their responsibilities spelled out in the, in the constitution of the party. So every organ takes their job very well. The governors can be the governor we came, came to was in was in was in Edo because it's a South-South, but the election was holding in South-South and he was the chairman of the campaign council. And you could see the, his efforts. You could see what he did with his brother, Governor, Governor Okowa, Governor Makindi of Oyo State, Governor, even Governor Aminu Tambua from Sokoto State. All these guys were there. The former vice presidential candidate of our party, Peter Obi, all of them were there. That is how PDP runs his show. You know, I've always told people that APC is lacking something because they don't understand what it takes to run a national government. They don't know what it takes to, to run a national party because this is the first time. So we will excuse them. So in 2023, I know this is where all these things are going. Hmm. We were to see hmm. how they are able to manage okay. themselves. Funny. Thank you for always uh, keeping it short and straight to the point. Well, but just to put it on record that... Um, uh, we tried to bring APC to this show, and for now, a good number of them said um, they are still understanding uh, the issue, and they have not gotten a directive to go to the press. So that's the reason why it looks as if we have a PDP person. But we have a political analyst who is up helping us to balance the conversation. I know you're itching to talk. Yes. Uh, my brother Fabi said uh, Bola Tinubu imposed the governor, the vice, the deputy governor, the senators. I please, I hope he recognizes that we operate a constitutional democracy. If Ashwadu Tinumbu is a godfather in APC, I'm sure under the Nigerian constitution, he doesn't have that power to impose a member of his party as a governor in the state. That candidate of his party, whether he has imposed them or the party members have agreed that this should be their candidate. I'm sure Fabi recognizes that those candidates contest election against candidates from other parties. So if he has imposed them in his party, does it mean he's the one who has, you know, cornered or who has uh, colonized the thinking of the voters? Because even in the last election, we recognize that the candidate of the APC had about 500 and governor, the incumbent governor, Baba Jide had scored about 500, 500 plus votes, while the PDP, PDP candidate scored 200,000 plus votes. That was why Governor Baba Jide Sonwulu is Mr. Fabi telling us that it was Bola Tinubu that imposed Governor Baba Jide on the people of Lagos and not that the people of Lagos went to the polls to make their choice. So if you have said because some people have come out to say 
that uh, Yai Tuge or whatever you have said. You are the one that will interpret No, is, he is the one that said this. He's the one that will interpret <laughs> But the truth of the matter is that that is the beauty of democracy. That the majority will have their way, while the minority will have their say. We cannot begrudge or we should, you know, forbid people from coming out to, vent, to ventilate their grievances, even when they have no, they have no basis. You recollect even in the Bible, where, a, where two women came and brought the, 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 the baby to the king. Mm -hmm. And he said, one said, oh, uh, this is my son. That, the other one said, "Is my." he said, okay, so that none of us will have it. Let us cut, you know, the baby into two. So it is not out of place for us to see people who are just aggrieved. So I think Fabi, you should, uh, should, re should respect the democratic rights of the people of Lagos. Hmm. If the people of Lagos have decided that this is the way we want to vote, I don't think it is in your past to tell us whether we are foolish or wise in doing that. Okay, Fabi, if I can put the, the, the issue you have raised in perspective, what he's saying is, even if there is a godfather, that's my own coinage now, even if there is a godfather, probably the people like the kind of candidate he put up, hence they vote massively for these candidates. Is that not a point for you to consider? Well, it is not it's ever a point. I'm sure Lagosians, majority of Lagosians listening to this program will not be happy with my brother. I tell you that. It's if he lives in Lagos, he should go around Lagos. I am talking about something. There's a connection from what I just said. What I said was, being a godfather, do you think is every member of the APC or is Polish Nobu's father happy with the people he brought, he brought on board? It goes beyond, because that is where you start from. It goes beyond, even before you get into general election. I was talking, it goes beyond that. I was talking about the kind of persons they give, they, I mean, it gives Lagos, Lagos State. I don't want to make this issue Bola Ahmed Tinobu's uh, issue, but let's the fact be stated clearly. What I said was that this attitude of God, Godfatherism is always impeding good governance. It, it, it denies you of having a, a varieties of people who, who, I mean, where you choose the best from that can give you the people good governance that they, 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 they deserve. That's exactly what I'm saying. Now, does he know, I'm sure he's not a politician, if he's a politician, he will understand that a lot of dynamics, a lot of undercurrent goes under when he even gets to the general election that we cannot be say, talk, talking on here. But truth of the matter is, Godfatherism has not paid Lagos as a classical example, like Fabi, I said. Fabi, it doesn't pay, and Fabi, it doesn't pay anybody. Fabi, let me remind you some of the things he said. He's here, but I'm the moderator. Uh, some of the things he said, and don't forget, you owe us an interpretation to what you said. Um, some of the things he said has to do with the fact that in 2016, if Oshomale was the godfather, he raised the hand of Obaseki and the people voted. What happened then? And please start with the interpretation of what you said earlier. Oh, yes, there's this. I just, I just stumbled on these people and it begins to get trendy. Yaitoleko, Yaitoleko. Like the suffering in Lagos is enough. Okay. The suffering in Lagos is enough. People in Lagos, Lagosians are crying. No infrastructure, bad roads, no food. The economy is in bad shape. So that is what yeah, Yaitoleko means. The, our suffering is this suffering, this hardship is enough. Just like the replica of what we had in Kwara State in the last election, Otoge, this suffering is enough, or oh, we can't come, you can't bear it again. That is the interpretation of what I just said. Okay. Now let's go back to 2016 when Adam Soshomale, you said Adam Soshomale brought, I mean, raised the hand of someone. Yes, Adam Soshomale was what was a sitting governor. And when he was going, he found in Obaseki somebody who helped his government for eight years, who made his government thick. And he recommended, he said, this is the best for you. And the guy came into office. People accepted it from him. If he had shown the kind of attitude he showed now, perhaps they would have rejected Obaseki at that time. So what I'm saying is very in clear terms is that Godfatherism has never helped okay. us. And I thank God that the revolution has started from a uh, those states. Okay. And anywhere we found it again in Nigeria, we are going to go against it. Uh, because Fa Fabi, it, has, it has stopped us, it has denied us from getting... Fabi, let me, uh, let me come back to uh, Nelson. Nelson, I, I, I want to take a cue from what he said. Now, we had a case of Akbabio giving the people of Akwaibom Edom. I mean, Udom Edom Emmanuel. Mother, yeah. And four years after, they fell out. And he wanted to say, this guy is no longer good. The people said, no, 
You've introduced this man to us. Still we are not going to listen to you. We had the case of uh, Obiano in uh, Anambra State, oh, yeah. where Peter Obi gave this man, and he said, it is time to change the button. And they said, no, this same man you sold to us, we are not going to say yes to you this time around. So don't you think these godfathers have some kind of deception in them? Why is it about you? Because it appears it's about them, and the people are saying, you cannot always have your way. Well, I think uh, Mr. Fabi owes an apology. If, because one. That is you or my. He owes, you know. I, I'm, I'm a Lagosian. So for, uh, for this program, I represent the people of Lagos, even though I don't have their mandate to do that. Mr. Fabi has never lived in Lagos, I believe. He, he's speaking to us from Abuja and from your report. He's from Oyo State. So Mr. Fabi he cannot love us in Lagos more than we love ourselves. So if Mr. Fabi said yeah, it will get, I think Mr. Fabi it will, be, it will be better for Mr. Fabi to focus in, on his oil state. We are, like I've said earlier on, you don't expect that in a party everybody will be on the same page. But even if you are not on the same page with the ideals of your political party, at any point in time, you have the freedom to leave. The right, to, the right you have to join the party is the same right you have to, you know, to opt to another party. And when Mr. Fabi said there's no guy in Lagos, I'm sure. Since 1999, we've gone to the polls. There has been no time that Ashwaji Bola Ahmed Tunumbu will say, oh, in this democratic dispensation, the people of Lagos are not going to vote. I'll be the ones to nominate those that will occupy political office. It has never happened. And if my memory serves me right, at every point in time, political parties have contested elections in Lagos, just like in other states. And if the people in Lagos, in their foolishness, according to Fabi, let me use that word. In our foolishness, believe that this is the party we want to vote for. And we have consistently voted for that party. I think Mr. Fabi should respect our Enjoy. democratic rights. Okay, I, I'm sorry. It's I have true. just one, one minute for both of you to make your final statement. And that final statement is what is the lesson for both the politician and the electorate to learn from? Fabi... Okay, thank you very much. Um, I just want to seconds. ask my brother, is he an APC member or is he a card card member of APC? And how much of the internal workings of party he knows? I live in Lagos. I grew in Lagos. I school in Lagos. My parents still live in Lagos today. So you cannot come here and tell me that I'm not feeling what I know what my people in Lagos are, feel, are feeling. I know what ordinary citizens in Lagos are feeling today because of godfatherism and, and, and inept attitude of, 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 of their godfather in, in, in Lagos. Let me tell you, the incoming, the upcoming by election, central by election in Lagos will clear the eyes of the people. We won't clear the eyes of the man that is making Lagos dry. I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you. Now, I think your time. Okay. You want to say something? Yes. So, Back to what you just said, as far as I know, the, the people, the citizens, they are, they, are, they are the ones that are almost heavily hit by this misgovernance, bad governance, bad decision making by the leaders. So they must rise up. Okay. They must fight for their right. They must fight for everything. God has given them two things. They are ahead. And again, we have constitution. Thank we you, have Fabi. laws that rules that, that, that guys what we do in government and our everyday to day life. They must use these two things to get what belongs to them. Thank these people you. in government Allah are less than five percent of the uh, I'm sorry, of Nigeria. I will have to they must rise up, wise up and do what is our fight for their rights. Okay. Thank you so much. Over to you. What is the lesson here, especially to the political class? Well, the lessons for the political class is that uh, they need to invest more in the, in the political system such that you know, they will have a, a democratic template even operating within the political party. In that way, we'll be able to reduce the rancor that occurs in, in a party. Because like we have seen, which even Fabi has attested to, uh, the outcome of this election also has the infighting within a particular political party that you know, resulted in that party losing this election. And also, I think there's the need for us to up our game with regards to the voters' education. Because a situation whereby voters go to the polling station and all they want to do is to believe that, oh, I can be bought and sold like any item hmm. on the, on, on, in the shop for a four-year tenure 
it's not, you know, it's not Beautiful. commendable on our, on, our, on our humanity as a people. Thank you so much, Nelson Okujimi, who is an observer under the auspices of uh, Transition Monitoring Group and also a political analyst. I don't know. He asked you a question. Are you a member of APC? No, it, I'm not. Just, but, to, just but to say it's, yes it's or no. It's my right, if, even if I want to. I, okay. I, I, APC is not a terrorist organization, okay. so <laughs> I, can ask, I, can, I can decide to join APC tomorrow morning. Okay, but for now, he's not a I'm member. I'm not of a APC. member, yes. Come Thank you. He said you come and join PDP. Thank you. if you are interested, I'll come. Okay, he has no, 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 said no, no, no. that if you if you are if you if your plans and your manifesto if your manifesto meets my ideals, it will, it will join. Thank you once again, <laughs> Aladewe Fabi, for your time. I quite appreciate your time. I'm sure you will not complain of time this time around. Thank you for taking your time to yeah. come it's to a us. Pleasure. Thank, Thank you for much. having me. Yes, uh, and to our viewers, let me give you my take on this issue. And what is my take? The Edo State election has come and gone, with Obaseki emerging victorious. Many stakeholders have pronounced the election peaceful. But how about the free and fair? That remains a debatable issue whether vote buying, because vote buying seems to be prevalent across the two main political parties. But now that Governor Obaseki gets to hold on to his governorship seat for the next four years, I believe this is the time to prove to the people of Edo State that your choice was not a mistake. It is time to reflect on some of the anti-democracy exhibition in an attempt to cling to power. Can we have a full legislative house functioning? It is not the time for revenge or getting back at the party that supposedly turned their backs at you. Instead, Devote the next four years to making a dose state better and improving the lives of the citizens. And that is my take, and that's how far we can go on today's edition of Plus Politics. Plus Politics returns tomorrow, same time, on the same station at 7 p.m. I remain yours truly, Coyote Ladeinde, saying bye for now.